Hello Life Path number eight. Thank you guys so much for tuning into your 2022 prediction. I also would like to thank you all for all your likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. It is greatly appreciated. All right, so let's go ahead and get right on into it. So what I'm gonna start off by doing is give you guys an oracle card to give you guys an overall theme of what your 2022 will be like. Then I will move into your love um, prediction for 2022. Then after that will be your career or financial area of your life that I see for 2022. And then to top it off, we're going to end it with a general overall advice message that I can give you all for 2022. All right, so let's go ahead and get on into it. <clears throat> all right, so overall theme for life path number eight. What do we have for the overall theme for 2022 for life path number eight? Overall thing. All right, so we got our card immediately. All right, so we have core. Now, core represents um, what I'm seeing is that a lot of you're gonna start getting to the root of a lot of things. Um, you're gonna get to the bottom of anything that has been troubling you or anything that has that you've been seeking, any answers that you've been seeking. I am seeing that a lot of answers are gonna be given to you. You are gonna create like a lot of different portals. You may take a lot of different routes to get there. Let me not say portals, let me say routes to get to where you what it is you want to go but i feel like this is an overall energy of where you really get into know who you truly are from a soul level so let's see what i like to read from this book in this particular um oracle deck so let's see what core represents <clears throat> all right so it says pure energy generator of life the mysterious inner mechanism that animates our world and the collective soul of the planet so again, I feel like a lot of the life path number eight, not only just for the planet, but just for yourself, I feel like you're going to get to the inner workings of who you truly are, who God truly is. It's more like a spiritual connection. Like I said, it's getting like to the root, to the bottom of things. And it is going to be like an energy that is going to give you a lot of enthusiastic um, endeavors is going to be very powerful but it's like a powerful pure energy you're gonna find the inner light within yourself like what makes you act the way you act what makes you who the person that you are so this is a very good energy to have in the year of 2022 especially with us being in a personal year number six you are gonna be within alignment like of getting to the root of things so you may even find like a strange family members that you didn't know anything about if that is what you are looking for you may also um do like some type of i'm feeling like some type of like ancestry.com or you may like get to like your past roots of who like i said of who you really are so that's very good energy to have all right so for your love for life path number eight what do we see for love for life path number eight year 2022 what do we have for love life path number eight in the year of 2022 Love. Oh. oh, wow. <laughs> All right. So for your love energy, we have is the King of um sorry, it's King of Wands. So with the King of Wands being your overall energy for your love area for 2022, I am seeing that you're going to find more confidence within yourself. Like I said, you're finding out who you really are from a soul level and you're going to start vibrating that. You're going to start exuding that energy and being your own strength for your own life. Once you have that energy for you, then you attract another king or queen of wands into your life okay regardless whether it is somebody from the past or whether regardless whether it is somebody brand new you're gonna attract it's gonna be like attract like so whatever you are you're gonna attract that person in but it's going to be a very passionate energy that is a very passionate energy that is here it's an energy where like this person is going to be like all eyes on you 
they're gonna like kind of like hypnotize you with who they naturally are and it looks like that is that's going to be reciprocated you're going to do the same thing to that per particular person if you are in a marriage or if you are already in like a partnership you know if you are already with somebody i do see that your relationship is going to thrive even more if you've been trying to look for different ways to enhance your relationship, to bring back that passion that you had when you guys first met, it's definitely going to happen for you guys this year. So either way, whatever spectrum that you're on, I do feel like there is going to be a lot of passion within your love life and it's going to be like very sexy. Like I'm getting like a very sexy energy. So very thriving. This is very, very beautiful. All right, let's see what we have. Okay. All right. So, hmm. so the first few cards we have, um, I saw the queen of cups first. So like I said, a lot of passion, a lot of love. If, like I said, if you've lost the love within your current relationship, I see that that is going to be brought back to you. Some of you may, <laughs> I'm seeing an image where some of you may be so on to each other. Like it's like you guys have separated and then you've came back together or you have had like this is people who are in the relationship um with you guys coming back together or with you guys like sparking up something within your love life i do see that some of you may become pregnant because this is giving me like empress energy really but like motherly energy but i see like a lot of emotions are going to start flowing and it's going to be very beautiful so a lot of you this may be the year that if you have been wanting another baby or if you have been wishing for another baby this will be the year that you do get pregnant um what i saw next though when i said wow because it was like very because i saw it first and then all these two these three cards came out we have the eight of one i mean sorry yes the eight of wands the eight of swords and the six of cups so for some of you, if you have been like separated from your partner or if you've been separated from somebody for a long time, they're going to come in and they're going to express how they feel like they can't really get you out of your their mind. Um, they're going to try to come back to you. And it's going to be, um, like I said, it's going to be like an off guard energy. I see that they're going to do it like online in some type of way. Like they may like DM you or may email you or something like that, but they're going to like really express how they feel through communication if you have been in a situation where you feel like things couldn't really work out for you because we got this eight of um eight of pentacles again and we have 888 here so that brings in a lot of abundance that brings in a lot of karma too what goes around comes around um i'm seeing that something is going to come full circle as well and then like i said with you being a life path number eight and then you have all these eights within your reading there is going to be something that is going to come back to you, come back full circle. Um, I feel like during the separation between you and this person, if you have been separated from a person, they are going to come back and they're going to explain to you how they can't get you out of their mind and how they worked on themselves and they want to come back with a nice solid offer. We also have this page of pinnacles and then we have the magician. So for some of you, this person from the past, you have been manifesting them back to give you a nice solid offer, a standing offer. For some of you, this may be like a new person that is going to come in. I'm sorry, let me go back. A new offer that's going to come in from an old person. So also that if you guys are in a relationship and your sparks have died off, it's like you're going to start doing things brand new to create like a lot of like emotions, a lot of flowy energy for your own lives. I want to give out some more cards because I can't help but to feel that it's just an older energy here. So let me try to pull out some more cards to see if there may be like a new offer that's going to come in from a new person. But I can't help the way I feel. It's just like older energy that's here. All right, for the life path number eight, do we have anything else for love? Yeah, this is old energy. Um, the page of cups came out in the reverse. So usually 
when the page of cups comes out in the upright it is an offer of new love that's about to come in but it's in the reverse so this is giving me like that older energy this is also giving me an energy where like things didn't really end well like it's like your hearts were together and then it broke apart so things didn't really end well i see that coming back i see that coming full circle but make sure that you're just following your signs make sure that you are paying attention to your dreams as well because your dreams are going to tell you a lot of things when it comes to this old person coming back yeah and you're going to try to like let go of the baggage or you're deciding on what you should do should you stay should you go we had the seven of cups and then we had this ten of wands so yeah i'm like i said i can't help but the feel for the life path number eight is the energy that i'm personally picking up it's like an old person that's trying to come back and you're trying to decide on if you should stay or if you should go even if you are in a relationship right now you're trying to decide on if you want to really like move to the next level with this person or do you just want to pack your bags up and go so um like i said just the energy that i'm picking up this is like a past reconnecting with you and you're trying to figure out what it is you want to do let me give you guys one more card real quick let's see what we have do we have anything else for life path number eight Yeah, anything that has like happened in the past, like you're overcoming it. Ooh. Yeah. Mm hmm. So, this energy here, for some of you, your past people, when they do come back, they're not going to be ready. I'm going to be honest with you. Because we have the devil. We have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, and then we have the King of Swords in the reverse. This, I don't really like this energy at all. Um, so when it comes to your love, if it comes to a past person, like I said, make sure that you're following your signs. Make sure that you're paying attention to your dreams. Because if this is a past person that's going to come back, for some of you, this past person hasn't really removed what they needed to remove in order to come in and give you like a standard offer to give you the family that you want to have. But then for, like I said, for the ones that are in a relationship, you're definitely going to have to like break ties from different things or even different people that um, challenge your relationship if you are in really in love with that person. And then for people that don't resonate with any of that, um, like I said, I, I don't really see new love coming in. I see that you're going to get in touch with who you really are um try to like get things moving for yourself not really wanting to have anybody like really having your options open you do have options open you are gonna have options open but it's like an energy where like you choose yourself because you don't want this energy at all so like i said take this message and how it resonates but mostly i'm picking up like a past person like this past person is or the person that you're currently with right now is in your energy so much that i can't even pick up the other energy i can't really pick up i see it but like i said it's like you're gonna be really choosing yourself but yeah it's like definitely gonna be a past person that's gonna come in that's gonna try to like give you all the loving all what they have and they're gonna want to like sweep you off your feet but like i said just pay attention to your dreams like i keep on seeing like i'm I'm seeing someone's dream right now where I'm in I'm in the energy of a dream so make sure that you are paying attention to those so that you won't be bamboozled again or so that you won't be hurt again or stuck in a situation where you can't get it off of you again it's like dang it's almost like the same old same old okay so really pay attention to yourself okay so let's move on to career so career and money what do we have for career and money for life path number eight. What do we have for career and money? For the life path number eight. Career and money. For life path number eight. All right. So your overall energy, this is beautiful. Um, we have the nine of cups. So all of your wishes are going to be fulfilled when it comes to your money 
sector this is very very beautiful way better than y'all love Rena. i'll tell you that so that's why i was kind of picking up like from the love part it's like some of you you don't really want new love like you got your options open but you really focus on your own self you focus on what you what you want to attract what you want to create for yourself because we have this ace of pentacles we have the king of wands again and then we have the world so this is very beautiful energy and with this nine of cups at the bottom like anything that you really put your action towards anything that you put your mind anything that you put your heart and your soul towards when it comes into your career and um, finances you're gonna have everything that you want you're gonna have everything that you desire if you have been stuck in a situation where you feel like money has not been coming full circle for you this is definitely the year of alignment for you where money is going to come in for you you have to continue to get the actions right in order for you to actually attract in what it is you want but your money is going to be good like money is not going to be an issue for you so if you have been having any type of money issues expect it to com completely change i'm seeing like a lot of changes here expect your money endeavors to completely change in the year of 2022 let's pull out some more cards i like this better for life path number eight what do we have yeah oh yes i like this energy y'all really i do we have the Ace of Swords and then we have the Queen of Pentacles. So like I said, anything that you're putting your mind to is going to manifest. Like your money is going to be nice and solid. Just make sure in order for you to keep the money that you have to balance your checkbook really, really well. We have the Temperance energy here. So Temperance is just giving me an energy where it, it may not happen like overnight but throughout the year is going to happen with time like whatever your bank balance is right now add a zero to it some of you need to add two zeros to it whatever your bank balance is so your finances is definitely going to grow you just need to put your mind towards what it is you want to accomplish and what you want to achieve and you're going to achieve it this is a very prosperous financial reading career reading if you have been trying to do things new like going back to school starting up a youtube channel starting up your own business um online stores hairdressers i'm seeing hairdressers i'm seeing musicians if whatever it is that you have been trying to do in a creative outlet if you work hard towards it you're gonna see some type of reward and some type of success so it's like in the year and starting off in the year of 2022 you may be at zero, but then at the end of the year, you may be at a thousand, you may be at 10,000, you may be at a hundred thousand. It all depends on the work that you put in towards it. But either way, it's a lot of growth that is going to be here. It's a lot of things that is going to grow in the year 2022 for you. That's going to be very prosperous. I want to give one more card for the eights. What do we have? Yeah. Now we have the page of pentacles. So like I say, any new endeavors that you do want to start, don't be afraid to start them. Um, some of you, you may be a little intimidated on these goals that you want to achieve, but don't let the fear win. The only thing there is to fear is fear itself. So if you're fearing the change, if you're fearing the responsibility that you're going to have, you're not going to attract what you want in. So any stresses, any worries that you are having when it comes to your career and your finances, those things are going to be completely removed from your life because this energy is so strong. This prosperous energy is so strong in your reading. It cancels out this fear. So some of you haven't even started like the like I'm, I'm seeing like going back to school. I'm seeing like a book bag. So going back to school, if you are afraid to go back to school, if you're afraid to get this new trade that you want, don't be afraid of that. The only thing, like I said, the only thing there is to fear is fear itself. You need to be scared of fear because fear will block you and stop you from what it is that you absolutely want to attract. But if you can go into it with that pure energy, with that knowledge, with that successful mindset, you are going to really be very, very abundant in the year 2022. I love this reading for y'all. More than that love reading because I was like, I love reading. Hmm. 
But like I said, I think that most people, they, you are focused more so on your career than on love. So it's kind of like, if it come in, it come in. But then if it, again, if it don't, it don't. And then for other people, like I said, you're going to have that person that's going to try you, that's going to come back. But um, I just feel like most of you not going to take it back. All right, so let's do overall advice for life path number eight for the year of 2022. Advice, what do we have for advice for life path number eight in the year of 2022? All right. All right, advice. All right. All right. Very, very beautiful. So when it comes to what it is you want to do, you are going to be fine. You are going to be more than taken care of. We have the King of Earth at the bottom of this deck. The King of Earth is a very supportive energy in a financial way, in a physical way. So don't worry about anything that has not came in for you yet. As long as you don't give up on your goals and of your dreams, you can accomplish whatever it is you want. You have to be confident, you have to be strong, and you have to be solid in your own self. And then that's when things are going to start coming through for you. Don't sabotage yourself just because of things that have not worked in the past. Plans, decisions that you have been making in the past that hasn't really been working out. Some of you may have had like different impulse decisions and then you regretting those decisions or some of you may have overall just decided to work with somebody or decided to invite something in and you feel like you made the wrong choice. And it's not that you made the wrong choice. I feel like mistakes is an opportunity to learn. So don't ever feel like you made a mistake or you made the wrong choice. This is just a deviation. This is just so that you can like really get into alignment with what it is you want to do. So with the seven of cups, with the knight of swords or the messenger of air and the six of air, it looks like that confusion and that doubt that you're in, you need to move away from that. Don't, um, don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt your abilities. Don't doubt your own strength. Don't doubt your own worth. And it keeps you stagnant. Keep moving. Keep going. The worst is behind you. There is a energy where clouds are going to part open for you you're going to actually find land you're going to actually find what you need to find out for yourself and for your own ability for your own success for your own life for who you are as a person but you got to keep going don't reflect back on the past just because the past didn't work out the future is going to work out for you you just can't give up on yourself and you just got to keep moving your feet and you got to be really enthused on what it is you want to create and what it is you want and everything is going to work out very very beautiful for you okay in the year of 2022 all right thank you guys so much for tuning in i greatly appreciate it if you like this video just make sure you go ahead and hit that thumbs up button also to see more videos like so in the near future make sure you hit that subscribe notification bell again i love you all and i thank you so much for tuning in and i hope you guys have a wonderful and blessed day Bye bye